Hello there and welcome to this Let's Make series. Um, we're going to make some Christmas baubles and what better papers to use than the 12 Days of Christmas papers by Graphic 45. Do I sound biased? <laughs> I love them. Um, they're really simple to make. I did see a video, oh, two or three actually, on YouTube so it's not my idea um, but I thought I'd make some myself and share them with you too just in case you haven't seen the videos um, they're, when they're made they're quiet and they're dried they're quite strong and actually they do look really lovely and I am going to hang them on the Christmas tree this year so where's the other one there we are really nice Christmas papers but they'd look good in any papers of course that you've got. Um, so this is how to make them. First of all you need some circle cutters. I've used the Tonic Studios layering dies. These are slightly scalloped around the edge, Oops. Um, but a brilliant die set. There are 14 I think different circles varying in size and it's quite nice to have different size baubles. Um, and then you need tape, scissors, glue and ribbon and your papers and the first thing to do is to cut out 16 circles all the same size and fold them in half and give them a really good crease with your bone folder and you fold them so that the side you want to see is the side that's inside the fold so here's my 16 and then you start to stick them together. It does take a little while and it's a bit more challenging if you've got scalloped edge or edges. But you start with one and then you take the second one and stick it together, keeping that fold nice and flat. If you're working on a craft mat it's easy just to push down against the fold and keep it flat. So stick one and then you just carry on. Make sure that you've got glue all over your semicircle and then take piece number number three. Line up your edges. Again just put it down on your work surface, craft mat just to line it up. If you haven't folded it exactly it won't line up. So better to line your edges up than the bottom but you want to keep it as straight as possible. It's almost like I thought as I was making them putting a, a Terry's chocolate orange back together again. You know as you get that core in the middle. <laughs> Doesn't smell of chocolate. It's nothing like doing that really but well, that's just what I thought. And you just carry on putting each layer on and making sure that your edges all match up and your top and bottom sides match up and you start to get that sort of shape. Can you see here that needs to be really pinched tightly so that you get a nice join in the middle of each bauble or each segment. And you carry on, I'm not going to put them all on because it does take a little while, but you carry on putting them on until you get a bauble like this. And I've just got, I think, the last one to put on. So there's 15 on there now, and it opens up really nicely. You do have to make sure as you're sticking them that each of the segments doesn't get stuck to the next one. And then the last one, I'll put the last one on. So you do get quite a thick middle when they're all layered. Let's pop the last one on. Just line those edges up. Make sure that it's really nicely stuck. And then you need to add your ribbon. And to do that, open it up like this, 
I've taken about eight inches. I always find with bought Christmas baubles, you've never got long enough piece of ribbon to hang them on the tree. So I've done eight, well that's the wrong side, eight inches and I've put a little bit of double-sided tape that wants to stick to me on the end and I'm just going to stick that across the wrong side again. That's it. I'm just going to stick it across that centre and then do the same with the other end. Let's get the ribbon straight. And then these two get stuck together and just pull the ribbon so that it comes out of the centre of the bauble. So last two going together. I've left the backing on the tape. I'm going to put some glue over the ribbon as well. Just extra security. If you wanted to, you could hang a smaller one from the bottom, or you could have three different sizes and hang them together as you're making them, which would look really lovely. So this last one, it pulls all of the segments together, so you really do need to pinch that and push right into the corner or, or to the centre so that it sticks nicely and the same at the bottom give it a really good pinch and then you might want to just hold it while it's setting might need to stick a bit more glue in there it keeps opening up so I'm just going to put a little bit more in there and pinch it and then make sure that all the segments are separate, they haven't got stuck together, and leave it to dry. They are a bit bendy until they're completely dry, and when they dry, they go really firm. And then once it's completely dry, you can fold all the segments, pull them all apart, and space them to how you want them. And that's it. There is your Christmas. Oh, has that moved? Let's just move it back. There is your Christmas bauble. And you can ink the edges if you want to. Um, and you can add glitter if you wanted to. So that's a medium one. Shall I tell you how deep that one is? I just picked three random circles. That one's two inches. The big one is two and three quarter inches. And the teeny weeny baby one that I'll just finish off is one and a quarter inches. So how cute are they? <laughs> so let's just stick this into the baby one, I'm sure. Here's all the bits that I've got cut out for another one. They get a bit fiddly the smaller you get, but they are easy to make and they really do look lovely. So stick that. Make sure it's Oh, have I stuck that the wrong side? I've stuck that the wrong side. I'll take it off. Do it again. Right, stick it on the right side. Pinch it. Make sure it's lined up. It's very easy to sort of go off centre, so you have to keep going back and making sure that all the centres are straight and that you get a straight line of folds and then just take the tape I'm going to put a big piece 
pencil on this one and loop the ribbon Oops. onto the one piece of tape, hopefully. And then I'm going to stick it across the middle of the bauble, that last segment that's not stuck together. Just trim the end off. Stick it down firmly. Add a little bit of glue. Oops. Just to that centre segment. And then let's take the tape off this time. And then stick them together. And push the ribbon back so that it just comes out of the centre of the join. And then hold them, really pinch it and get any excess glue out and just pinch it tightly so that the top and bottom edges really do stick together and your ribbon comes out of the middle. And leave it to dry. Space all of your segments. And there's the baby one. Something else I did think as well, and I'm going to do that on um, some cards, is you can make them so that they come out of the cards. So a bit like the honeycomb effect that you get, and I thought that would look quite nice as well. So just put um, perhaps eight or nine segments together so that you've only got half a ball ball, perhaps ten, and then put them onto a card and they really would look quite nice with a really lovely Christmas sentiment. So there you are, that's how to make Christmas baubles. I hope you have enjoyed it and have fun if you make some yourself. Thanks for watching.